Hi there, I'm Chrissy. You found my channel, Chrissy Love. I review fragrance here. It's my hobby, it's my passion, so it's super fun doing it on this YouTube channel here. Thanks for commenting and liking and subscribing. If you haven't already, please do subscribe because I post twice a week, so not too little and not too much in my opinion. I think it's just right. <laughs> I won't bombard you with content, but you'll get what, what you're looking for, I think. I'm also posting to TikTok and Instagram with my sense of the day and other content, so check me out. The links to those are in the description box below. But today, I am talking about a really unique fragrance experience. It's actually not perfume. I am talking about the signature fragrances that locations have, retail, hotels, resorts, casinos, and specifically casinos. I was at the Aria in Las Vegas about a month ago, and I noticed there was a distinct scent in the air. It was kind of vanillic and sweet, and it was just, it didn't smell like anything else I'd smelled before, but also didn't smell like it was someone's perfume or something. It seemed like it was just everywhere around me. As soon as you walk in the door, you really pick up on it. I think though, a lot of people don't think about this. They just say, oh, you know, this is a nice place to be. I feel homey, I feel comforted. And they don't realize that there are a lot of elements in casinos that are making them feel that way and making them want to stay there really on purpose. It's like expert marketing. It's it's an, creating this experience of being in a casino where you want to stay there and you want to come back to it. So for example, Everyone knows that they don't have any windows in casinos because they want you to get lost in the experience and not realize what time it is and just be gambling till 2 a.m. Um, you know, no holds barred, just give them all your money, right? Um, they have concerts that are free to bring you in. One of the things that they do is they have signature fragrances. They're actually companies that design signature fragrances for locations like this. So I noticed this when I was in Aria and it got me really thinking about it. And so I Googled it and I found this site called Aroma Retail. So they're one of the companies that creates the signature scents for casinos. And it turns out you can buy these scents. So if you really liked the experience of being in this casino, you can bring it home with you essentially. Now, casinos don't sell these scents, I don't think in like gift shops or anything, you kind of have to hunt it down. So I'll put this link in the description for Aroma Retail. That's not sponsored, by the way. My video is not sponsored. This is just me talking about it because I think it's so fascinating how they do this. So they sell all kinds of uh, like uh, scent machines, like these actual like big machines that pump the scent out, which is obviously for more like retail um, situations. You might have it for your house, I guess, if you were totally obsessed with a scent. Um, but they also have fragrance oils, candles, reed diffusers, stuff like that. And they sell little samples. You can smell it first and see if you like it. So this is an example of a sample. I have, it looks like a tampon, to be honest. Um, I haven't opened these yet because I didn't want to mess with the scent. I want to be able to give you a real good first sniff review of these. Um, so yeah, I'm talking today about 15 signature casino scents. I'm gonna tell you about what the scent is supposed to smell like and what I think it actually smells like. So let's jump right in. So I'm gonna start with, of course, Aria, cause it's like the one that is most exciting to me cause it's where I noticed this scent profile for the first time. And Aria's scent is called Asian Garden. They call it a Floriental. And it has notes of jasmine, lily of the valley, vanilla, gardenia, amber, and tuberose. So let's get this little guy out of here. Kind of stuck in. It is kind of like a little tampon. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's a little dabber here that has the scent on it. And that is it. This is the scent I was smelling in Aria. 100% so true. So what this is, it's really round and fluffy and sweet. It has a sweet vanilla bean scent to it. It's not super floral. I mean, it has a lot of flowers in the notes, but I'm not actually finding this to be very floral. But I'm definitely getting amber. So this is a scent that makes you want to get cozy, sit and have a conversation, kind of hang around. I would definitely buy this in a candle. Now, I would not buy this in a perfume, and you cannot get these in perfumes. Do not dab this on your skin. Okay, <laughs> I'm certain there's chemicals in here you do not want on your skin. Mm. It's kind of pillowy and marshmallowy. Oh, it's so delicious. This is really nice. I would definitely buy this as a candle. Mm, yeah, gorgeous. So that is Aria's Asian Garden. Next I have Caesar's Palace, The Empire, which is meant to be kind of more of a citrus scent. And this has notes of cyclamen, jasmine, rose, lemon, mandarin, cedarwood, lily of the valley, amber, citrus, and orange. 
This smells like rose and orange. It's very strong on like a really bright essential oil type citrus. It, it kind of smells like a really gorgeous kitchen cleaner. But that rose is definitely in there, a bright red rose. Some florals, yeah, this is lovely. This is something that makes you feel lively and fresh and like exuberant. This is a really great one too. It's a really nice blend of floral and citrus and that orange is just gorgeous. Mm. And it's not really sweet like the last one. It has kind of like a natural citrusy sweetness, but it's not in itself trying to be sweet with like vanilla or sugary or anything like that. Mm. Yeah, this smells really clean. So if I walked into this, I would definitely feel like happy and excited to be there and exuberant and, and feel like I'm in a clean space. So this gets a really great message across just walking right into, you know, into Caesar's Palace with this. Mm. I would definitely buy it in a candle too. This one's really good. Next I have Bellagio's Blue Ice. This is supposed to be a Mediterranean marine note type scent. Has notes of cucumber, lily of the valley, green apple, melon, blonde woods, grapefruit, and Damascan rose. Mmm, yeah, this is very heavy on the melon. So another fresh and lively one. It's definitely sweet. And that cucumber and that melon together, it doesn't smell like a Bath and Body Works cucumber melon, let me just say. It smells like fresher, less synthetic, I think, than Bath and Body Works smells. The apple adds a little bit of brightness, but a little bit of sweetness too. I'm not really getting the rose or the grapefruits. This is mainly a cucumber melon type scent. So walking into this, I think that I would feel really happy. I think that this is one of those universally enlivening scents, like cucumber and melon are one of those scents that just makes you feel like, ah, like I've arrived. This is, this is fresh. This is a, a safe space. This is like where I feel like I'm, I'm taken care of, I guess. Like it's, it's not like kitchen cleaner or it's not like cleaner type fresh, but it's like a a really natural freshness. Like I think if you smelled this in the air, you wouldn't really notice it at first. It would be like a subtle impression on you. So that's a really, really pretty one too. So that one is Bellagio's Blue Ice. Now I have here Crystal's Black Orchid. So Crystal's is a very high-end shopping mall. It's actually located right next to Aria, so I have been inside of it. It has over 50 shops in there. Um, this one, Ooh, this is fun. So this has notes of orchid, jasmine, sandalwood, patchouli, peach, cedar, violet, amber, vanilla, and musk. Musk, this is different because of that musk. This smells a little more perfumey. It smells, you know what? It smells like what a lingerie shop would smell like. Like it's a little bit sexy, but it's sweet and comforting. It kind of enrobes you in it, in that vanilla and that sandalwood. Mm. It has kind of a punchiness to it too. There's something on it that's kind of, kind of hits you in the face. I think it might be the orchid, but it has kind of like this synthetic lean. It, it, it smells not natural, which is why I think it smells more like perfume to me. But the violet's definitely coming out. Mm, it's a really beautiful blend. This is not straightforward. This has a lot of nuance to it, a lot of different kinds of notes in it. But generally, yeah, this makes me feel like I'm in a lingerie shop. Yeah, I probably wouldn't buy a candle of this one. It's not quite homey. It's definitely more commercial, but it's, it's a lot of fun. So that is Crystal's Black Orchid. Now I have Flamingo's White Cashmere, and this has notes of heliotrope, tuberose, vanilla, jasmine, ebony wood, cloudberry, like in you know, Mark Jacobs, Daisy Love, right? We don't see it very often. And Violet. This smells chalky and sweet, kind of like Pez to me. It kind of reminds me a bit like if Pez candy did like a Violet's version, like the Violet's candy. So there's florals, but it's, it's chalky, but sweet in a synthetic weird kind of way. I wouldn't say this is comforting. I feel like I'd walk in and smell this and be like, what is that smell? Like, something really synthetic around me right now. That is odd. <laughs> the vanilla doesn't really come through, but it has this odd nuttiness, actually. 
Yeah, that's kind of just weird. Honestly, that's not that good. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how popular Flamingos is or if this has any bearing on it, but I'm really not loving this scent. So that is Flamingos White Cashmere. This one now is Golden Nuggets Coconut Breeze, which is supposed to be an edible coconut. So it's supposed to be gourmand and luscious and sweet. It has notes of coconut, citrus, sugarcane, ylang ylang, malt, vanilla cream, and tonka bean. Woohoo! Yes! Oh yeah. <laughs> that is coconut candy. This is not fresh coconut. This is definitely like sugared, concentrated coconut. I'm not getting any citrus, but that tonka bean and that, that vanilla cream is really sweetening it up too. Yeah, that's like a, it's not even that creamy. It almost has like this, because it's so synthetic smelling and like unnatural coconut, it, it kind of is smelling like kind of pungent. So it's not really like enrobing or comforting or anything. Yeah, this is definitely coconut though. Like you walk in, you feel like you're on a tropical vacation, which is probably what they're going for at Golden Nugget. Yeah, so that's super fun. This is this would be a great candle. So that is Golden Nuggets Coconut Breeze. Now I have Hera's Mandarin Zest, which is supposed to be evoking the Mardi Gras spirit. As notes of mandarin, lemongrass, apple, leafy greens, freesia, amber woods, rose, and mate. So some tea in there. This is very citrusy. You know what this smells like? This smells like Fruit Loops. It absolutely smells like Fruit Loops. But it's it's but also like Fruit Loops sitting next to orange kitchen cleaner. It's it's I mean I think all these are really concentrated. Like when you're like dispersing this to the air, I'm sure it's more subtle than just me like sticking my nose right on it. Actually, this is getting on my fingers a little bit with the oil and I'm a little bit nervous because like I don't even know if these oils are safe. They're obviously not safe for skin because Thus, they probably aren't safe, to, honestly, to be putting in the air, but that's a whole other debate. Um, but anyway, so yeah, Mandarin Zest smells like kitchen cleaner and Fruit Loops. I'm not sure what else to say about that, <laughs> but it's fun. It, it's fun. Now I have Mandalay Bay Coconut Spice. So I'm expecting a tropical retreat here. So this has notes of coconut, banana, pineapple, vanilla, clove, cinnamon, and ginger, which sounds amazing. Yes! This smells just like an air freshener. This is straight up like Glade air freshener. But yeah, it's a little bit spicy. It has the coconut, pineapple, vanilla. It has this tropical scent. Like this is like every tropical scent that you've ever smelled. It's like, the spice definitely reads as cinnamon. It, it, it smells like a tropical scent layered over cinnamon. But it's nice. It's super fun. This is really fun. Yeah, it definitely smells good, but it smells commercial and generic, but it does smell good, and it's really in your face. So that is Mandalay Bay's Coconut Spice. Now I have Trump Tower's Golden Bamboo, which I picked up because my dad said he really liked this scent. Um, and the notes on this are green bamboo, cucumber, Turkish rose, melon, water lily, bergamot, jasmine, and balsam. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's very heavy on the green notes. So it, the bamboo and the balsam are really coming out a lot. It is kind of like, not woody, but it's it's like the the like balsam needles is what it smells like. And a little bit of that melon is in there. Yeah, so it's kind of like melon with some green notes. So it's, it's fresher than the others. It's not going for like sweet and comforting. This is definitely... Um, a starker scent. It has a little more punch to it. Like I would definitely notice this walking in. I'd be like, what is that smell? They just sprayed something. So the balsam is what really stands out. It's a little more masculine too. Yeah, so it's, it kind of reminds me of like entering a forest or something. If a forest had both balsam and bamboo, which it never would. <laughs> Um, but it definitely feels more natural and like you're, you're walking into a natural environment. So yeah, that's, that's really interesting. And it really is something I would notice if I walked in to Trump Towers. So that is Trump Towers Golden Bamboo. Now I have Venetian's Arancia, which apparently is the 2015 and on version. I guess they reformulated it at one point. And it's supposed to be sunny and Mediterranean. It has notes of orange, lemon, apple blossom, ginger flower, geranium, clove, orange flower, nutmeg, carnation, ylang, ylang, and pear. Ugh. Ugh. Oh my God. 
Wow, that the geranium is really strong in this. It's like very outwardly floral and green. Very floral and green. I'm not getting any spiciness. I'm getting a little bit of like lemon in there, but the citrus is not the star player. It's definitely playing a supporting role. So the florals are really strong in this. So this is like walking through a garden. This would, if walking into this casino would be a real departure from walking into the other casinos where the scents are largely more like sweet and unrobing and comforting and like stay a while. This is definitely like you're entering the fresh zone. Like now, like wake up, you're in a garden, you know, this is an experience you're walking into. You're not gonna experience anything quite like this, but the Venetian is an incredible casino and hotel. It's just gorgeous. So I can see why they'd want something different from the other kind of scents that other casinos are using. Yeah, that's super fresh. It's, it reminds me still a bit of like an air freshener. Like I can totally see this being canned, which I guess it is because it's put in the air in this casino and hotel. Um, but yeah, that's very fresh and floral. Very interesting. So that is the Venetian Arancia. Now for another Asian reference, we have Wynn's Asian Lily, Wynn's. And this has scents of lily, lotus, bamboo, lemon verbena, and white rose. It's supposed to be more fresh and floral. Ooh! This smells like a pool. It smells like a chlorinated pool area, like not necessarily in the water, cause it's not watery, but it smells like, like chlorine. It's very clean. It does have a little bit of that verbena. So there is some like citrusiness in it, but this straight up smells like chlorinated water. Like, you know how when you go into a pool and pool area that's enclosed and it's like the chlorine scent is kind of bouncing off the walls and you're getting the, the cleanliness of like that fresh cleaned tile. Like that's what it smells like. It smells like being in a pool area, but that's not bad because I guess it's kind of resort like but it's, it's way too clean and fresh. Like I would notice this, it's so in your face. I don't think I would actually really enjoy sitting in this scent for too long, but it's, it's, it's clean. It's very, very clean. <laughs> so it's Wynn's Asian Lily. And this one's actually not from Vegas. It's more for my background. And that is Boston's Park Plaza. And it's a scent called Fresh White Tea. And I was born in Boston. I grew up there and I've been back there many times since. I went to college in the Boston area. So this was just kind of for me. <laughs> but this has notes of silver needle point tea, bergamot, white tea leaves, pico tea, teakwood mahogany, and ginger lily. Oh, that's nice. It definitely smells like bergamot and tea. It's bright and crisp. There doesn't really have sweetness, but it has like this kind of powderiness from the ginger lily. Mmm, and I definitely get the tea quite. So yeah, this is kind of like a woody tea with a little bit of freshness to it. So not really sweet, but that's that would be a really lovely perfume, actually. I would definitely buy this in a perfume. But again, do not put these on your skin. <laughs> telling you right now these oils are like scaring me right now um yeah that's pretty that's really really a nice tea scent I really this would be an amazing candle so that is Boston Park Plaza's fresh white tea so of the 15 I tried my top three are definitely Flamingo's white cashmere Boston Park Plaza's fresh white tea and Aria's Asian garden I think they are very different from each other, but all really beautiful blends that I would love to have in my house. And, but th this has been super fun. Like, let me know if you've been to any of these casinos, if you've noticed that casinos smell or have a unique scent in general. I'd love to know your experiences. And you know, if you want to play about your experiences in Vegas, I wouldn't mind that either. Could be fun to get a little thread going of our Vegas experiences. <laughs> so thanks for being here. Learn what to think and hope you have a very beautiful day.